The recent death of a 15 year old student at Desert Vista High School has so many people hurting. Yeah, we want to emphasize you are not alone. Help and hope are available 24 7. Numbers to call and vital resources will be listed at the bottom of your screen throughout this story. New at 630, ABC 15, Jordan Bonke is in Ahwatukee as the community and beyond cope with this tremendous loss. Moments after word got out about a lockdown at Desert Vista on Friday, October 27th, the pickup line started to form and families started to worry. My son was there and witnessed it. I don't I know he's very shaken up. This parent who didn't want to share their name said their son called saying a sophomore tried to hurt herself on campus. That led to a lockdown and police presence and the 15 year old girl died the next day. The homecoming dance slated for Saturday was postponed. And that parent said something we've heard repeatedly from Desert Vista families in the greater Ahwatukee community. I'm trying to figure out what to say to my son once he is released from the lockdown. He's hurt as well. In the days that followed, we saw mental health specialists from the district and the city of Tempe descend onto Desert Vista. And both the school and police launched an investigation. Phoenix police did say what happened on October 27th at Desert Vista was a tragic incident. And right now, it's just a death investigation. But detectives are continuing to do interviews, and if necessary, they'll add charges. The surrounding community, even other schools, did their best to show hope in a time when it seemed hard to find. Two neighboring schools even painted on the teen's sports number at a recent game. A number that stands out, however, in Arizona is 40. So far this year, 40 suicide deaths in our state among those who are 17 and under. Mental health was one of the main reasons that I ended up running for, for this position in the first place. And Tempe Union High School District Board President Armando Montero says when he was a student at Desert Vista not too long ago, he lost a close friend to suicide. Now, still at just 22 years old, he and the board have started to address mental health in part with a committee made up of students, teachers, parents, and mental health professionals. The group aims to take a state-mandated suicide prevention training for all staff to be able to help identify someone in crisis and get them proper resources. In the past, we've covered mental health resources linked through a QR code on each student ID. And with all that and then some, it still happens. It is very difficult because we can establish as many, you know, in-depth policies and processes as possible, but in many instances, you know, there is no way to be able to tell or catch, you know, uh, a student that might be struggling. It is hard to distinguish the difference between typical and troubled. Nikki Koontz is with Teen Lifeline, an outlet that took over 35,000 calls and texts from teens in crisis just this year, one in three from teens considering suicide. She urges parents who know their teen best to trust their instincts on if their student may be in a mental health crisis. Drastic behavior could be a sign. She says asking your teen to show you the parent how to do something could open the door to a deeper conversation about mental health and allow them to be an expert. But above all, she says, the best advice for parents is to lead by example, especially kindness. You never know who may need it most. As adults, we have to make sure that our kids understand the importance of being kind. In Awatuki, Jordan Bontke, ABC 15, Arizona. And we want to stress, you are not alone. Again, help is only a call or text away. Locally, you can reach the Teen Lifeline at 602-248-1000. Outside of the Valley, 1-800-248-1000. Where all you have to do is call or text 988. All of those contacts will also be included with this story on ABC15.com.